Now from Kerala, a special ground report on how the three coronavirus patients from Kerala spread the infection. The authorities now have traced and tracked every single person who came in contact with them and used every possible technology to contain the impact. The spread of coronavirus across the world is exponential. In Kerala, a family of three that did not reveal their travel history to Italy have infected at least eight people, their loved ones, in a span of just six days. NDTV has access to a series of flowcharts and live maps prepared by the Kerala state to analyse and contain the spread of coronavirus and also for effective resource mobilisation. This flowchart shows the exact date, time and location of travel of the family of three who did not reveal their travel to Italy. In a span of six days, they travelled to 17 locations in Kerala, infecting eight people as of now. All of them, their close relatives, including their 85 and 96-year-old parents. All the uh, uh, positive cases are stable. But we have to think about that uh, uh, old aged people, that uh, 85 year and 96 year. We are somewhat afraid uh, because uh, they have some old age problems, etc. And they are most vulnerable people, you know. And we are uh, watching them eagerly and giving all support to save their lives. Around 900 people have already been traced as their contacts in three days. But the release of this flowchart for people took the tracking to another level in last 24 hours. Until today, after 2 p.m., uh, we have got more than 60 numbers. I mean, 60 calls in these two numbers, which we have exclusively uh, given for um, uh, recording the response from the public. Majority of these calls are saying that they were uh, present at this location. At the state and district level helplines, more trained staff are being regularly added due to the heavy influx of calls from across the world. Working as a war room, this team is now collating the entire surveillance data into live geotag maps with each of the primary and secondary contacts traced, marked and identified on this map. A click and the details of that region pop up. Another map shows the classification of high-risk, low-risk zones, with parts of Pathanamthitta and Kottam currently under high risk. And also shows possible on-ground clusters of coronavirus's possible expanse. This is a heat map which, uh, which shows the risk of each district. We can sh uh, see the, uh, what, which are the high-risk places, which are the places where a high concentration of uh, primary contacts are there, where they are moving around. We have a highly robust surveillance team. So what we are doing here is, with the assistance of uh, Kerala State Disaster Management Authority, we are using their GS platform and plotting all of these uh, hotspots, the primary contacts, secondary contacts, onto the map so that we will know where exactly uh, the the uh, infection is spreading. That is one activity. Second, we are also putting more layers, like our uh, isolation ward layer, the lab uh, facility layer, as well as uh, you know other layers which help us in uh, uh, decision making effectively. The only way to counter coronavirus is by beating it at its speed, charting the spread of coronavirus through contact tracing, and effective mobilisation of the scarce human resource is crucial. Nothing can defeat an alert community. With camera person SP Babu, Sneha Koshi for Indie TV.